businesses, having people rate it on the racist scale, the uh, the assault on American freedom by corporations is a first in American history. And you don't need the government to suppress freedom when you have all of this being done. Somebody's fighting it, the Alliance Defending Freedom, ADF. Here's a case from a college that I need you to hear about that they are taking on. David Cortman is senior counsel at the Alliance Defending Freedom. David, welcome to the Dennis Prager Show. Oh, thanks for having me on. Tell us about this case of this uh, Christian student. Yeah, it's remarkable. So people hear that universities are supposed to be the marketplace of ideas. Um, Here, uh, this student, Chike Uzabunum is his name, was basically sharing in his faith in his college outside of Atlanta, Georgia. And they have speech zones. You've got to get permission to speech. And these speech zones are less than 1% of campus. You have to get permission in advance, and you have to show them your materials. It's, it's, it's basically you know, nearly impossible. He gets permission, and they shut him down anyway because they didn't like what he was saying. They didn't like the fact that he was sharing his face with other students. Help me out on this uh, first part. There are free speech zones. What is the name of this college? Uh, it's called Georgia Gwinnett College. I- is it just a, a, a small private college? No, it's a large public college. (laughs) It's a large public college. That's right. Yeah, okay. And this is a Christian student. I assume from his name he is from Africa? Yes, that's all correct. Okay. So he wants to, on campus, speak to fellow students, presumably about Christianity. Is Is that correct? Right, that's right. Okay, so I want to understand, we'll, we'll get to the Christianity aspect in a moment. What if I want to speak to fellow students about UFOs? Uh, am I constrained to speech zones? I don't understand what renders you uh, able to speak only in a speech zone. Well, the reality is, is is whether the school officials like what you're saying, because obviously students are walking around talking and speaking all the time. It's only applied against someone who they don't like what they're saying. And, and if you would imagine the size of a football field is the university, the speech zone is the size of a piece of paper. That's the scale to show how limited these free speech rights are on these public campuses. Right. Uh, but I, I, I just... I'm trying to understand it fully because it's so unbelievable to, to, to me and to my listeners. So if, if you want to say, uh, I hate racism, are you confined to that uh, piece of paper? Well, you are, unless they don't enforce it against you, and that's been one of the problems. So not only do they have these policies, <clears throat> but they pick and choose who they enforce it against. And the, one of the aspects in the case was there's other people that are always talking about various issues, and nobody's prohibited them from doing so. He was speaking, didn't even know there was a speed zone. The, the school officials came out and said, no, you can't speak here. You've got to go to these, these tiny little speed zones. So that's the problem. It's, 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 it applies to everyone on its on paper, but they only enforce it against those who don't want to hear their message. So his he was merely preaching uh, on behalf of Christ, correct? That's right, and, and handing out some flyers to those who wanted them. Exactly right. You know what would be a very interesting test? I wonder if it could be arranged, is to see if a student at the university spoke on behalf of Islam what they would do. Yeah, and, and there's been other speech taking place, that because he's on campus, obviously, all the time. He was on campus at that time. And he would say, look, there's always people speaking about various issues, and no one comes to them and says, hey, you're not in a speech zone. Make sure you go over here. And so that's the point of, of picking and choosing you know, your favorites and getting rid of the rest. Right, but it would be a great test. Do you know for a fact that others can can are can speak on behalf of what they call progressive causes and not be harassed? 
Yeah, and and it's the reason we do is it's happened before, and so you know the the, the point of it is is that you have the and no one's aware of these speed zones. Let's just start with that because you assume when you go to a public university that you're paying for and you're a student who's required to be on campus for your classes. Oops, oh, I'm sorry. All right, anyway, hold on. I'm sorry about the interruption, but I have to interrupt you anyway. <laughs> Uh, to remind you folks, they are taking on this case, the Alliance Defending Freedom. There is a banner at my website to help them. If you don't help the fighters, the fighters can't fight. They provide the free legal defense. 